Welcome to the Nog Vlog. We've got an upcoming sailing that we've just got a upgrade offer for and we're going to take it. And I wanted to take the opportunity to document just how that process works in case you ever get an upgrade offer, you know exactly what to expect. First, I'm gonna log into my Carnival account and our upcoming cruise is on the Carnival Vista. It's in May, uh, departing on May 28th. That is exactly 45 days out. Uh, I've seen different um, comments on Facebook message boards as well as uh, other websites on when exactly the upgrade will be offered to you, if it is ever offered to you. Logging in today at 45 days out, paid in full, we had a stateroom upgrade offer available. We are gonna go ahead and take a look and go through that process, see what all the available options are, what their costs are, and just how the sequence of events goes. And then we'll go ahead and, and secure that one. Now, we are currently booked for a interior stateroom uh, for three passengers, uh, myself, my wife, Brandy, and our daughter, Charlie. So the first thing you'll see on this page is uh, the initial offering. And I, I don't know exactly what it always defaults to, but you'll see several child forms over here on the left that uh, you'll be able to, to navigate through. Uh, you don't want to necessarily just think that this is your only particular offer because you've got additional ones out there available to you. So. Right now, again, going from an interior stateroom to a balcony stateroom is uh, what this offer is, is showing. I could actually go through here. Possibly you could see things here like a another room type and room category, maybe like a uh, ocean view room or a cove balcony or something like that. This one is for a standard balcony. So we'll go ahead and hit select and continue. Now here you can see, hey, do you want to actually move to the front of the ship? Do you want to stay here in the middle? Uh, currently there's no balconies available on any deck on the back of the ship. Now our current cabin on deck 10 interior is in the front of the ship, but if I select front and hit continue, the only balcony staterooms available are on deck 8. Otherwise I would be able to scroll up or down here and choose an alternate deck. We do not want to move off of deck 10, which is the Lido deck, because we have some uh, family also staying there on deck 10. So we want to still be close to them. And obviously being on deck 10 means you can just be a few steps away from the Lido. So we're going to go back to your location and select middle and then hit continue. And here you can see what it looks like when you can choose basically all of your options. Uh, so balconies on deck six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. I didn't even look at 11 earlier. Let's, let's use this as an example. Um, you can see there's several balconies here on deck 11 in what they call the middle of the ship. Um, the Lido area is right here and the forward part of the ship, which would be the front, is basically at this cutoff of the stairs. That's where they consider front versus middle. Uh, so not bad here. Uh, you get some stuff in the middle of the deck that I believe you can actually walk out some doors here, take some stairs down and, and get down to the Lido. But I don't want to change off of 10. I would like to stay on 10. So I'm gonna go back here, select Lido, and I've got one option available. So I'm gonna snag that one. That's the one I'm gonna get. Just for reference, let's take a look at what's all available on other decks. And you can see the pricing, the higher you go, the little bit more expensive it is, uh, but still not too terribly bad. So on deck nine in the middle, scroll through here, lots of options again available if you we're so inclined to, to stay on deck nine right below the Lido. I don't know if that's the best option, but that's always up to your preference where you want to stay. Again, I love staying on deck six. It's the cheapest option here. Uh, you're really close to decks five, four, and three, which are usually the main uh, you know, nighttime entertainment. So you could choose something here and uh, you know, be close to that. But for this particular sailing, right at the end of May, beginning of June, we want to play in the water. We want to be there on the Lido deck. So let's go back and select the one that we want. See, it's nice here. It shows you how many rooms are left in each. Um, it actually doesn't say that for Lido, so that's interesting. But uh, there's only one uh, for a balcony there. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, once you're at the end, you can review your selections. And from there, again, shows you your new room number, the total upgrade cost. So at that point, I would go ahead and uh, pay the cost for the upgrade. 
enter my credit card number, hit pay now, and we're good to go. And we would have our room. So I'll go ahead and enter that and show you what it looks like. No! Sadly, Deck 10 was available with one stateroom and it was just a few doors down from where we were staying. It was the perfect location right there on the Lido deck and went all the way through the process and eh, someone had grabbed it before I could hit book. Now, had I not made this video, I would have been comfortably in that room come 45 days from now. But these are the sacrifices I make for our Noglog family. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at deck 11 here. Looks like we got three options there. Now, I did a little bit of research, so the picture cuts off, and, and I kind of don't like that, but um, uh, basically right here is just a uh, the first tier of the uh, upper level of the, the pool area that you can walk around. So there's a, just a, a little bit of stairs that heads down uh, into the actual Lido deck. So you do have to take some stairs, obviously, to get there. But being in this particular room, right outside this door is basically your Lido speakers. And it's quite loud, uh, I would imagine, to be right next to there. Now, once that door closes and your cabin door closes, how much are you gonna hear through the wall, through those two doors? It's probably more significant than if you were in any other room down. This particular one you can see by this little symbol here has a connecting door. Um, it's not a deal breaker for us. We did that on the Dream. We had a connecting door. So that leaves us with uh, 11273. I think this is actually pretty cool because if you actually stay on that upper tier of deck 11 and come right over here on the after the ship, you've got uh, Camp Ocean which uh, I'm sure uh, our daughter Charlie is going to be hanging out a lot at. So it would be pretty neat to be able to drop her off, pick her up from our cabin and to our cabin at different times of the day and be on the same level. Sad that we can't stay on deck 10 where we were to be with our cruising companions, but I think this is a decent alternative for just a few dollars more. Random odd thing for me, uh, I really wanted to have a balcony that was flipped the opposite orientation than the last two that we had. So that means in this particular picture is, is how it's always been in every balcony that we've stayed. You can tell by where the door is oriented on the map of which side the bathroom is going to be on. So if the door is up here on the top side, the bathroom is going to be on the right, which means the bed is going to be on that same side. So the bed is always on the same side that the bathroom's on. Again, this is a minor thing, but to have the same layout three times in a row feels just a little repetitive and I would love to be able to have the layout of the other side but looking at uh, this one it's going to be the same the bathroom and the bed are going to be on this uh, right hand wall as you walk in but we're used to it so it's not a big thing I you know if I had my choice I would just pick the other side just to kind of have that visually different experience 11273 Another weird thing for me is you're going to say your stateroom number several times throughout your cruise, and it's nice to have one that's really easy to say to me versus some that's just not easy to roll off the tongue. So our previous one was 10245. That's easy. 10, 10, 245, 10, 11, 273. Uh, you're getting a lot of syllables in there. So uh, if all things are equal, I'll check for the orientation of the layout of the room. And then what number am I going to be saying to bartenders over and over again? Yeah, that's sad. Let's go ahead and book this thing and get this over with. So again, I'm very disappointed. I cannot pay for an upgrade with a gift card online. I bet if I called my designated personal vacation planner from Carnival, who I've never used before, but he sends me emails all the time and used to give me a call all the time every time I would be searching for a cruise and going through the steps. They, of course, track that and try to give you a call to finish the deal. I bet I could pay with a Carnival gift card. Either way, good to know if you are planning to do an upgrade and only want to do it online without having to call in to anybody, got to use credit card only. All right, well, let's enter this information and show you what the confirmation page looks like.
Congrats, your upgrade is complete. Your booking now includes your stateroom upgrade. You may use your original booking code to access your cruise information. Previous stateroom, 10245. New stateroom, 11273. Let's go ahead to my manager and see if it uh, shows the new room number. Obviously, it does not show the upgrade offer in the to-do list anymore. If I go to booking and order details, bam, new room, and you're good to go. All right, if you got any questions, let us know down in the comments below. Hopefully you get some good information from this. If the Upgrade Fairy visits you, you know what to do and what to expect. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button below. If for some reason you didn't like it, which I, I just cannot believe, go ahead and hit the thumbs down. Hit it twice if you need to, just to make sure it goes through. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the Vista. Can't wait for you to come take a trip with us.